Hey guys, how's it going? So, no, we didn't get the generator done. We had a fire. Yeah, I know last week we had the fire department here, but that was unrelated. But we had a fire here at the nice junk shop. I was cutting away at the generator and poof, the uh, grinder caught on fire, which was pretty incredible. But what was more incredible that I didn't believe it. So I shut it off and then I started it back up again and it caught on fire again. Unfortunately, I was doing some sketchy shit, so I didn't catch it on film. I tried to recreate it a few days later, but it won't go on fire. It's like cooked. So we're going to do a short video on scrapping a grinder. And since the shop is so messy, um, well, I'll show you. I can't even get to my bench, nor do I have the ambition to clean this up to do the video. We're going to do it outside. We're actually going to be tailgating nice junk style. Yeah, so first of all, I'm going to cut off this cord. And the plug. Got some in insulated extension. Undo the nut. I like to keep these. You never know when you need one. So there's some Torx bits here. Pulls apart. So that I would just throw in prepared steel. After I take this back flange off. Maybe. Then we got some Phillips. this I'm just going to um, throw in dirty aluminum if you've got the time go for it but it's a pain in the bum oh and there's another screw in the back more screws So, got a flat screwdriver. Which is the wrong size. So, I got a little screwdriver. Just gonna undo these screws. There's two of them, one on each side. This should pop right out. Nice piece of brass there. So, clean 
าครับJust a little bit of wire, okay. Did a nice piece of brass. One on this side. Same procedure. That smells like a, a prison riot once it's uh, lit on fire. So I'm going. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pry this off. There we go. Oh, Look at how toasty that got. You see that? I'm going to go get the grinder. That's going to be the easiest. So yeah, I got a new grinder. What we're just going to do is slice this case. going to hold that on there. This should come on fairly easy since it's charboiled. Here's some prepared steel. Oh. 
twist. There we go, more prepared steel. That's what you have. Here's the prepared steel. You got a little bit of copper. You can barely feel the weight. A little bit of brass. Copper bearing motor. And oh, he's got some nice junk, but it's also crispy junk. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes, and we also got insulated wire. See you next weekend.